Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. On your screen you will see quite a few colors um, by Lucas, Amsterdam and Liquitex. And this is somewhat uh, of a, an ambitious project. On your screen you will see a piece painted by Paul Clay, one of my favorite artists. And he painted this piece called Dream City, painted it in 1921. That is 101 years ago. And what is so amazing is that the piece looks as fresh and as modern today as it did when he painted it in 1921. So anyway, uh, this is my humble tribute to that piece and to Paul Clay. And so uh, I'm going to use my own vocabulary of shapes and colors inspired by that piece. So uh, I'll be right back, don't go away. Okay, I'm going to start by putting some random lines on my gel plate. This is just to add some texture. This is the uh, first layer. And I'm trying to evoke the complexity of the city. Okay. Going to use some uh, Arctic by Lucas. So there will be some different zones. some light blue permanent and some touches of burnt sienna So I'm going to start rolling with the lighter colors.
Okay, and then I will add some of my scribbles here, here and there. Okay. So this will be the first layer. And I'm using my textured Somerset paper. I'm actually getting down to my last few sheets and after that I'm going to start using the smoother version Somerset Velvet now since this is the first layer and it has some of the marker pens I'm going to leave the paper on for about 10 minutes just to ensure that every layer will transfer Okay, it's been um, about 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. I think it's a fairly good transfer. Again, maybe Maybe because the uh, gel plate is new, that the paint has a slightly glossy sheen to it, which I don't mind. Okay. Pretty cool. I think that's pretty complex for a first layer and um, I'm going to air dry this and see what the next layer is going to be so I'll be right back okay I was able to assemble my uh, reusable stencils and they are in a vertical kind of orientation, sort of like uh, evoking the skyscrapers of the city. Um, so I'm using, taking a cue from the original Paul Clay piece. Um, I'm using different shades of green. This is brilliant green. Then that's an olive green. And then this is a dull green earth uh, green. So I will start with the brighter shade. I'll have some highlights here and there. Okay, and then I will follow with a deeper green. So by having all these different values of green, there'll be the illusion that there's more layers. And 
then I will have some deeper greens on the borders there I always have to remind myself that when I have a lot of stencils on the plate you really don't have that much square footage of space so I don't really need to put too much paint I'll start with a lighter shade of green Proceed to the deeper shades. And just to uh, make sure that I cover the plate evenly, I'll work on the plate in sections so as not to get overwhelmed because this is a much bigger plate okay so just make sure that the layer of paint is nice and flat that there are no high spots okay so now that's down i will Take these guys off. Now there is some residue because the stencils have some leftover paint but I'm, I'm not too worried because they will add some additional tex textures. Okay. okay, I think I have all of them. So let me make sure my hands are clean and just to refresh your memory here is the first pool with the marker and the two different colors actually three 
Okay, here it goes. Now, uh, I try not to look too much at the original, the inspiration piece, because I want my own interpretation to come through. Uh, I do pick certain things like the color and the subject matter as inspiration, but I uh, want to make sure that the end result is my own interpretation and not a copy because I, I don't believe in copying uh, especially if it's an artist that you admire I think that you pay more respect to an artist when you take inspiration from his work or her work and make it your own. Okay. Now let's see what we got. I like the texture of the green against the blue. And luckily these uh, leftover smears didn't transfer because they're, they are fairly dry. But here's the result. And this is the second pull. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, Again, I'm going to air dry this with my little desk fan and maybe proceed to the third layer. So uh, hang tight. Okay, here we are at the third layer. Uh, I have reassembled some of the plastic stencils and then I've cut some uh, leftover cardstock to create these vertical lines, kind of resembling uh, some tall buildings. So anyways, I'm going to use this Amsterdam graphite. It has like a metallic sheen to it. And one of my favorite metallic colors is deep gold. So the deep gold goes in the middle. And then the metallic graphite is on the outer edges. And I think the, the graphite will provide some contrast to the bright blues and greens. So uh, I'm going to start with the gold.
then slowly blend my way to the graphite color. Okay, the paint application is kind of heavy, um, but what that does, it creates a lot of texture. So, for these cardstock stencils are not reusable, so I'll just get rid of them. Whereas these can be washed. So as you can see, the imagery is not very literal. It uh, suggests a landscape of the city, but it's not very literal. There are no really recognizable buildings or structures. But hopefully the end result will suggest that of a dream city. Okay, I think I got them all. Now this is the exciting part because I think that this third pool is the last one. So to refresh your memory, this is the print with the two layers. Okay. And keeping my fingers crossed. Oh, here's one more. That's why it's always important to check. I nearly missed that. Okay, I hope the registration is good. Leave this for about 10 minutes. OK, 
Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. This is really exciting. Let's see what we got. Love the textures, I can tell. The uh, textures are really big. Kind of like a wood grain. Here we go. I think it's pretty cool. And I like the fact that it suggests a landscape of a city without being too literal. So I will go ahead and air dry this and recap. So don't go away. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I think this has dried a bit. Not completely, but it has flattened out. And uh, here's a close-up of the detail, which I'm very pleased with. It's the interplay of colors the greens and the golds and the graphite and the scribbles all play off each other. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.